Welcome to YQ Academy Hibernate Interview Questions and Answers. 1. What is Session in Hibernate and how to get it? Hibernate Session is the interface between Java application layer and Hibernate. It is used to get a physical connection with the database. The session object created is lightweight and designed to be instantiated each time an interaction is needed with the database. This session provides methods to create, read, update, and delete operations for a constant object. To get the session, you can execute HQL queries, SQL native queries using the session object. 2. What is Hibernate Session Factory? Session Factory is the factory class that is used to get the session objects. The session factory is a heavyweight object, so usually, it is created during application startup and kept for later use. This session factory is a thread safe object which is used by all the threads of an application. If you are using multiple databases, then you would have to create multiple session factory objects. 3. What is the difference between open session and get current session? This get current session method returns the session bound to the context, and for this to work, you need to configure it in Hibernate configuration file. Since this session object belongs to the context of Hibernate, it is okay if you don't close it. Once the session factory is closed, this session object gets closed. Open session method helps in opening a new session. You should close this session object once you are done with all the database operations. And also, you should open a new session for each request in a multi-threaded environment. Four. What do you mean by Hibernate configuration file? The following steps help in configuring Hibernate file. 1. First, identify the POJO's plain old Java objects that have a database representation. 2. Identify which properties of POJO's need to be continued. 3. Annotate each of the POJO's in order to map the Java objects to columns in a database table. 4. Create a database schema using the schema export tool which uses an existing database, or you can create your own database schema. 5. Add Hibernate Java libraries to the application's class path. 6. Create a Hibernate XML configuration file that points to the database and the mapped classes. 7. In the Java application, you can create a Hibernate configuration object that refers to your XML configuration file. 8. Also, build a Hibernate Session Factory object from the configuration object. 9. Retrieve the Hibernate Session objects from the Session Factory and write down the data access logic for your application Create, Retrieve, Update, and Delete. 5. What are the key components of a Hibernate configuration object? The configuration provides two key components, namely, database connection. This is handled by one or more configuration files. Class mapping setup. It helps in creating the connection between Java classes and database tables. 6. Discuss the collections in Hibernate. Hibernate provides the facility to persist the collections. A collection basically can be a list, set, map, collection, sorted set, sorted map. Java. Util. List. Java. Util. Set. Java. Util, collection, etc. are some of the real interface types to declare the persistent collection value fields. Hibernate injects persistent collections based on the type of interface. The collection instance is generally behave like the types of value behavior. 7. What are the collection types in Hibernate? There are five collection types in Hibernate used for one too many relationship mappings. Back, set, list, array, map, eight. What is a Hibernate template class? When you integrate Spring and Hibernate, Spring ORM provides to helper classes, Hibernate DAO support, and Hibernate template. The main reason to use them was to get two things, the session from Hibernate and Spring transaction management. However, from Hibernate 3.0, 1. You can use the session factory get current session method to get the current session. The major advantage of using this template class is the exception translation, but that can be achieved easily by using at the rate repository annotation with service classes. 9. What are the benefits of using Hibernate template? Automated session closing ability. 
the interaction with the Hibernate session is simplified. Exception handling is automated. 10. Which are the design patterns that are used in Hibernate framework? 1. Domain model pattern. An object model of the domain that incorporates both behavior as well as data. 2. Data mapper, a layer of the map that moves data between objects and a database while keeping it independent of each other and the map itself. 3. Proxy pattern. It is used for lazy loading. 4. Factory pattern. Used in session factory. 11. Define Hibernate validator framework. Data validation is considered as an integral part of any application. Also, data validation is used in the presentation layer with the use of JavaScript and the server-side code before processing. It occurs before persisting it in order to make sure it follows the correct format. Validation is a cross-kitting task, so we should try to keep it apart from the business logic. This Hibernate validator provides the reference implementation of BIM validation specs. 12. What is dirty checking in Hibernate? Hibernate incorporates dirty checking feature that permits developers and users to avoid time-consuming write actions. This dirty checking feature changes or updates fields that need to be changed or updated, while keeping the remaining fields untouched and unchanged. 13. How can you share your views on mapping description files? Mapping description files are used by the Hibernate to configure functions. These files have the asterisks. HBM extension, which facilitates the mapping between database tables and Java class. Whether to use mapping description files or not, this entirely depends on business entities. 14. What is meant by light object mapping? The means that the syntax is hidden from the business logic using specific design patterns. This is one of the valuable levels of ORM quality, and this light object mapping approach can be successful in case of applications where there are very fewer entities, or for applications having data models that are metadata driven. This is the end of our Hibernate interview questions. We hope you enjoyed learning with YQ Academy. Until next time, goodbye.